Welcome back to the Oracle Scroll. Today, we're enjoying our solitude. Hi, I'm Kevin Walder, your host for the Oracle Scroll. And today we're looking at card number 42, Solitude. Well, we're recording this episode in the fall of 2020. Some of us have had more than enough solitude, and yet some of us are still longing for that moment when we can have solitude. Those people in healthcare, those people on the front lines who have not been required to isolate themselves and to more or less enjoy that solitude, um, they're feeling frazzled because they're filling in for the rest of us who are isolating ourselves and quarantining and being, uh, being careful with uh, where we go and how we, how we go about our business. So solitude is uh, a subject that is, <laughs> it draws a lot of emotion. Some people are deathly afraid of solitude. Some people can't imagine uh, a life that might uh, require them to give up some of their social interaction that they crave. And others, uh, we're called introverts, by the way, uh, others of us will uh, thrive on solitude. We actually get a charge out of solitude and we um, enjoy the company that we keep when we're in that state of solitude. In a recent um, episode of the Oracle Scroll, we talked about um, intimacy and specifically intimacy with yourself, being able to know yourself on a level that goes beyond the superficial and beyond what most people are willing to consider. And solitude is a key part of that recognition. Solitude is when we can actually be alone with our thoughts. If that scares you, then we have some issues to overcome because we need to be able to enjoy the company we're keeping when we are alone, just as much as we enjoy it when we're with friends or colleagues or people who have uh, a like mind. We are getting acquainted with ourselves on that level. I encourage everyone that I talk to to spend some time every day talking to themselves because it's very informative. It helps you to understand yourself in a way that you might not have actually encountered ever before. Now, here we are, like I said, at the end of this dramatic and traumatic year of 2020. It's been a very challenging time for many of us. So how have we done with our solitude? But there's this little twist that we need to throw in there. In order to really experience solitude, we have to be able to get rid of all of our connections, at least temporarily. That would mean our connections using this medium, or our texting, or messaging, or inter interactive uh, social media. All of those things interfere with our solitude. So it makes it a little more challenging for us to really find the time when we are alone and actually alone with our thoughts, not connected to anyone, wirelessly or otherwise. So this is a, an interesting thing for most of us because it's something, as I mentioned in the uh, recent episode, um, it's something most of us don't do on a regular basis. Um, or at least many of us don't do on a regular basis. We're so caught up in the busyness and the, uh, the scurrying around that we do as a part of just survival in this modern society that we forget how to be alone. We forget how to be alone with our thoughts. And that is 
it's a shame because there's so much wisdom that each of us possesses and we are all desperately in need of uncovering that wisdom and finding it and using it to our best advantage. And we're only going to get there by being able to take some time and I think we need to do it daily. We need to do it at least on a regular basis, but daily is great because that gives us an opportunity to actually sort of digest what has happened so far, what is about to happen, or at least what is expected, and how we might prepare ourselves for each of those situations. Solitude calls on us to take a look at ourselves like we've never looked at ourselves before, critically, and yet at the same time appreciating our strengths and the challenges that we've met to get to where we are. So, this card is a number 42, which adds up numerologically to a six. Now the sixes, um, I always look at fives as being a challenge, and the sixes are like a huge uh, sigh of relief and meeting the challenge, overcoming the challenge, and directing our energies at self-care. And that is exactly what solitude is. It is our own regime of self-care. So, how is our self-care going to interpret into the well-being and looking after our fellows? How can we expand that circle of self-care and have it include not only our families, but those around us in our communities? even those we may not always agree with. Solitude. Enjoy it. It is precious, and we will always be called upon to partake of it. Thank you for joining us for this episode of the Oracle Scroll. Please stop by my website at kevinwalder.com where you can purchase any of the services that I offer. Also, check out my books, uh, Tarot for Lunch, Lessons from the Cards, and more recently, 22 Teachers, Healing Lessons from the Major Arcana. Both are available at Amazon.com, and both are very easily understood and easily followed directions for using the tarot. And most importantly, please subscribe to this channel by clicking the little red button down below, and go ahead and click that uh, bell next to it so that you never miss an episode. <music>